Ghana coming up first. They haven't qualified for Tokyo, qualified for Tokyo. neither have the Czech Republic. Italy, very excited. They were seventh in the World Championships in 2019, so they have indeed qualified. Japan coming out as well as Brazil, who are uh, in line for a place in Tokyo. They're 11th ranked. Atiampo will be the lead of athlete. Chema Atiampo for Ghana. Latifa Ali, Yanit Mponsa, and uh, Aluti Hoor. They're a quartet. I love that strip that the uh, Ghanaians are wearing, Jenny. Colourful, isn't it? Oh. So the same principle applies for this one. It's the first two automatic qualifiers from each heat, and then the next two fastest from the three heats. to appear at these uh, relays quite a few weeks back to Canada just a couple of weeks ago. It's uh, perfectly understandable under the circumstances that prevail. And we focus upon the teams that are here. Italy, well, finalists in Doha, they're in lead-off athlete, Ioannelis Herrera Abro. seen some great images here the preparation that goes into this a lot of these athletes will meet up regularly for national sprint squads you can just see that they, they put a marker down so everybody has different markers that they choose to do they have to get used to the incoming speed of the runner who they're going to receive the baton from very nervous moments for a lot of them and a lot of uh, nations have a lot of technicians working with them They'll be studying the footage, they'll be sometimes grabbing their own footage, sometimes going off these photos or these images. And then they'll go back to the to the practice track, have a look at it. They'll certainly do that overnight, make some final adjustments and preparations. And of course it has been a little bit more difficult for a lot of the athletes to meet up to, to practice those technical skills. But uh, they're all coming here of course, hoping to put on a good show. So the Czech Republic, Joanna Kaisarova, Kodama for Japan. It's on the uh, second leg. So Brazil go on the outside. Their quartet, Lemos Rosa Azevedo. Ayama, Kodama, Saito, Saruta. Japan in lane six. Racing. While it leaves far less room for error than 4 by 400 meters, we see the Italians at Eda Abru on the opening leg for them. It does make uh, give teams without quite the same speed in the four individual runners a chance of qualifying simply by slick baton changing. The technical aspects of getting that baton changing right raise in significance. Czech Republic, we saw just then, Joanna Kazarova on the opening leg for them in Ghana. Their lead off athlete, Gemma Achiampo. Two years ago, it was uh, actually the USA from Jamaica and Germany were the first three teams, with Brazil in fourth, and uh, Italy and Australia in fifth and sixth. Fastest time in the world this year, 42.70 by uh, an American University squad. Anything down there, around 43 and a half. High 43s is very, very quick indeed. Ghana in three, Czech Republic four, Italy five, Japan six, Brazil in seven. The first two go through by right. 
Good running from the Japanese, Oyama, second to right. Now, the changeover is so critical. Looks smooth from the Japanese. Brazilians are good relay runners too. Also going well, the Italian centre of picture in blue, the third second leg runner for them, Gloria Hooper. That long second leg, so important. Italians leading at the moment. Goodness me, certainly uh, the Czech Republic have got a lot of work to do back in lane four. As the Italians, oh, and a poor changeover from the Italians there. They lost two or three metres on the Brazilians. And that was that, that, that was the victory gone. As the Brazilians bring it home now, Rosangelo Santos taking it there from Italy and Japan. Terrible change over there from the Italians. They had it in the bag, so to speak. But the changeovers have to be right. It's like you can lose a sprint race with a poor start. You can lose a 4 by 100 meter relay with one poor changeover. And the baton speed of the Brazilians was superb. It roared past the Italians a couple of lanes inside them. It was an interesting race, wasn't it? The first runner, the lead off for it from Japan, first leg. Um, but it all changed on the third leg, of course, with the Italians showing the dominance. But uh, exactly how you called it prior to the race, Tim, you know, it is about slick back and changes, not always. And uh, a great time, 43.56 seconds from the Brazilians. If Italy can uh, sort that out tomorrow, they look like they can vastly improve, of course. And we're just going to take a look at Japan, 44.17 seconds. So that's the fastest time so far. That's not qualified automatically. Here we go. This is the second change. This is from leg two to leg three. See the Japanese changeover wasn't quite as slick as the first one. And this is what we're going to focus on. This is the Italian's uh, fourth leg runner. Just has to have another look, doesn't she? Um, it's great if you can just actually shout your incoming runner. Tells you, you know, you don't have to actually have a, have a visual change like you do in the rest of the relays. But just had to have a little bit of a, a look. She couldn't quite feel the button in her hand. And yeah, that, that cost the victory there. It looked like a momentary delay, didn't it? The split second delay, but actually, with the Brazilians maintaining the momentum, it actually cost them probably three or four yards. Huge margin in sprints and terms. Well, there's confirmation that Brazil and Italy do go through despite that poor change. The Italians making it through okay. Japan 44.17, only a metre or so off it. But I'll wait and see if they go through with that. Two more heats to come. Ghana and the Czech Republic. Some little way back.